a couple of things to get out of the way before we just start chatting. I am going to be living in France for one year as a teacher's assistant teaching English. I am working with the mayor's office of this town that I'm moving to. I am living in the Normandy region of France, which is like northern, northwestern France. Normandy is really beautiful, beaches, just sunshine, not too hot, not too cold, perfect place for me. If anyone's wondering like, will I be speaking French over there? Um, yes, I will be, and yes, I do speak French. Will I be smoking cigarettes because it's France? No, I will not. Will I be eating escargot? Absolutely. Escargot is chef's kiss. So I think those are all of the like basic questions to get out of the way. So sit back, relax, let's paint, and let's chat. Got some fresh brushes today. The first question that I can answer is, am I nervous about traveling? A couple of friends have asked me. They're like, are you nervous? I'm not, really. It's for a couple of different reasons. I mean, France has done a lot better with as like, you know, like most countries have with their response to coronavirus. They've done a significantly better job than um, we have here in America. I've chosen an airline that I trust and that has stated that they're committed to keeping their customers safe and they have policies and procedures that make me feel comfortable personally. So just a little information, I guess, um, the program that I'll be doing, I will be teaching like elementary school age kids. I'm not really sure what age group I want. I'm still thinking about it and we have like time to choose. We'll get to spend some time with the different age groups and uh, decide amongst ourselves. There are two other girls participating in the program with me and they're gonna be my housemates and everything, so yeah. And then as far as like teaching, I guess during coronavirus, I've been in contact with like, um, with my boss like over there and you know he's like kind of comforted us about some of the procedures and policies that they will be enacting and it's put me at ease about the whole thing so i'm really excited about this moving to france is something that i've literally always dreamed of getting to live in france i mean even when i visited france for the first time last summer with my mom my cousin and my aunt and there was just the most perfect trip ever and when we were leaving the night before we, we had to leave i just remember like i don't know i was really sad to go france just very much felt like home as soon as we left i was trying to figure out a way to get back and so i stumbled across that which is pretty great i think it's pretty cool that i'll be able to speak french for like most of my days and i'm excited to see what that's gonna do for my language skills. As far as like packing and stuff goes, I I pretty much, I would say I have like 95, I would say I have like 92% of what I need to go over there. Clothing, um, medicine, so I've got like gigantic bottles of Dayquil, Tylenol, just a whole bunch of stuff. I got my suitcase probably two months ago. So we were really just like working to get things so that way these next few weeks, my mom and I can just enjoy our time together and just relax and chill and not be like frazzled trying to get everything together. What I'm looking forward to the most, it's um, just a different pace, you know? I feel like I'm excited for a potentially like slowed down pace, if you will. Um, just to get to take time to smell the roses of my youth, I suppose. Just to experience a different quality of life uh, or a different outlook on what it means to be productive. Um, and I kind of talked about this in one of my other videos. Like I feel like America has this very high productivity mindset where it's kind of like every day you've got to be doing something to work towards your dreams. But it can be overwhelming. I'm also excited about being able to just travel to different countries. We'll see how that works with coronavirus, but I'm excited to be in such close proximity to so many different countries. Like I could go to Germany, Ireland, I don't know. I'm also just like looking forward to hearing little kids speak English in a cute little French accent. That's that's so cute to me. I'm also really excited to like to live near a beach. I've never lived near like a body of water before. Okay, well. New Orleans, we have the Mississippi River and the Gulf of Mexico, but like who's going to just chill on that, you know? Like this, the beach is walking distance and I've never, I've never had that before. So I'm really excited to just 
live my like big little lies fairy tale except I won't kill anyone's husband but like and I won't have that much drama but I'll like have some Renata moments where I just look out at the beach and just hold my like glass of whatever I can just pretend like I'm living in Monterey and that's exciting so maybe you're wondering like how my mom and my family feels about me moving nine hours away by plane my mom is actually she's doing she's taking it very well I've already said that I knew I'm gonna cry at the airport just because my mom and I are are just so close when I told her about this at first she was like oh whoa you know, as we started going on with the process, she was like, you know, the Lord has given me a peace about it. And I was like, okay. My mom and the Lord are like, like this, like this, okay? When she said that, I was like, okay, well that's all I need. So someone direct me to the visa office and let's just get this ball rolling. And I know. this moving abroad seems so hard this is from Veronica I was recommended this program by a professor and a friend both of them did the program and then as far as like moving abroad being hard it's it's challenging and it's frustrating but it's not it's completely doable obviously coronavirus is heightening some of the challenges that come with moving but also just like the lack of clarity on some things as far as like the visa process like it could be smoother it could be more clear. I will never say no to clarity. It's not as hard as you think. It can be fun in some ways, but at times frustrating and challenging. There we go. What made you decide to make this move? This is also Veronica's. It just seemed right. It was a no-brainer. It's been a dream of mine since I could dream. Um, so Olivia wants to know, um, oh, she says, so this will be once you get there, but I want all the tea on French men. Girl? girl I'll try I'm kind of outgoing but like when it relates to someone being like I like you whoa scary also like side story the visa application was like do you have a French spouse and I was like not yet any plans for layout and aesthetic I am planning on lots of plants and candles and that's really all I can like confidently say how excited are you to ditch this fascist police state this is also from Becca let me just put it this way this is a rough season of America one of the roughest we've seen in a while I am excited that I have been given the opportunity for my own spin-off on a different network okay so those are all of the questions from Instagram. I'm gonna keep painting while I still have some light. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.
that was today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and that this was a fun way to talk about my move to France. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I will see you